what's up everybody it's raquel here i know it's been a while y'all life has had its ups and downs since the beginning of this year um so i'm here to give an update just to drop in say hello and hopefully we can keep this thing going this year better than last year but um i definitely wanted to give an update while i am here planning for my pop-up shop on the 18th of this month in high point north carolina i am so excited but of course like anything else you gotta prepare and be ready so that's what i'm doing um trying to make sure i have everything that i need to be successful at this event um I don't know if you guys know, but like in our previous, my previous um, videos, I did a, a launch and my boutique name was Purposely Polished Boutique. Well, since then, April 8th of this year, my grandmother passed away. And honestly, she's the reason why um, I was able to start my boutique business. Like I literally told her what I want to do and she was like, go for it and she helped me start it and um so her passing on april 8th was really hard um i grew up extremely close to my grandmother my grandparents in general and um losing her was detrimental to me so i decided to change the name of my boutique to honor my grandmother and her amazing fashion and her just y'all prestige like you talking about a sophisticated woman my grandma was it she was um a first lady at my grandfather's church in goldsboro north carolina and um she just i mean y'all going shopping with her she would find boutiques anywhere like in uh suit boutiques and they would literally close down the store for her to come in and have her own personal shopping experience because they knew she was going to buy something and it was going to be nice and they would give that attention to her because they would make the money of course right so growing up seeing that I really just love that experience and I want to be able to give that to other people um but I decided to start my boutique off online and again I changed my boutique name from Purposely Polished Boutique to Caritha's Closet. And I'm really excited about it because I'm actually going to be selling her um, suits that she had and that she invested in that she probably only wore one time. Um, and I'm really excited about it, about the growth and about what it means. And I think my why is even more important. And I'm just, you know ready to see my boutique grow even more. I mean, in the last couple of months, it has grown so much. I don't know if you guys are following me on Instagram, but you absolutely need to. It's at Caritha's Closet, and I'll put it down here and also in the description. But definitely follow me. Um, there's a ton of new things happening. I'm doing more events. I will be at pop-up shops and um, a little more present on social media. Not that social media is the only way to get my boutique out there um but i am excited because i will not only be doing her pre-loved items that's what the collection will be but will also be selling more church clothes and i have a plus size line as well i can't um sway from my how i grew up in the church and like going to conferences and pentecost if you know you know if you don't you don't but i i am really excited um to be able to provide that not only for my church family but for my church family around the world and the plus size market is i mean also amazing there's beautiful women that i'm excited to dress and see them in their caritas closet um if you follow me on instagram you'll see my mom she's in like the most recent and actually one of the first i think um church dresses for plus size women uh she's wearing so i'm really excited about it and she looks great and i know other women will look great and i'll try to add a picture here in the video but yeah so that's the update i 
Um, started a new job. Of course, y'all know I had a daughter. Got married since September. Um, so I have two little baby girls and one is two is, and she'll be three soon. And I have another daughter who's one and I absolutely adore them. And I love being a mom. So if I'm not here all the time, then you know that my family comes first. And I also work full time. And so um, I'm just juggling life and, and doing it the best way I know how. But having a good time and ensuring that I enjoy it. So yeah, I am going over some of my reports on my website just to kind of see what um, my clients or customers are liking right now it looks like my cheetah wide leg jumpsuit is a hit the first lady silk top which is one of my favorites is a hit as well and the tie-dye maxi dress which i just did a reel on on instagram too so make sure you're following me there and if you're not vip you absolutely need to be because i literally just gave them a sale on dresses today so hate for you to miss that so you need to join vip and i'll have the link in the description box as well so yeah that's what's been going on in my life i don't know what else to tell you guys i like work from home now um, i don't know if i've ever said this on my channel but i work full-time as a recruiter i've been in hr for about seven years now i have my master's in business administration um and i do resumes on the side as well so i'll link that in the description i do a lot right um i'll link that in the description box as well and yeah so let's plan this pop-up shop because that's what i need to be doing okay so jumping right into it pop-up shops are like I've done maybe two or three and I need to do more. So that's why I'm trying to like get myself out there. If, if you know anything about um, Jance's Boutique Accelerator, I took it on last year. By the way, I haven't finished the entire program. Then I just bought the $1,000 a day challenge. So I'm working through that. I'm sending my texts, um, messages, my emails. I'm doing reels on Instagram. I'm posting on Instagram. It's slow moving, but it's moving. And I just want to get in front of people um, in my own community. Because I do want to or offer order uh, pickup soon. Um, and then just expand and just be able to talk to real people. Let them know I'm a real person. I mean, it's easy to know that on social media. See, like, people on social media think you know them. But I want to get to know people personable personally and i'm a personable person i'm outgoing so um actually i am a little shy <laughs> sometimes which might be hard to believe but it's the truth um i don't know if that happened over the years or what because i used to be super outgoing but i'm a little more reserved these days um might come with being a mom and just life in general um but we're not getting into all of that tonight we'll talk about that later uh, but yeah, so I need to make a list of things that I, one, already have I always like to like set up what I already have and then another space for what I need in my handy dandy notebook. Um, so yeah, I'll put pop-up shop June 18th. So, they provide a table, so I'll just need a tent. Um, I have a mirror. I'm going to use that. I just bought, like, a pop-up changing room, which, like, y'all, I got it from Amazon, and it's amazing. I think that every boutique owner should have one because, like, absolutely yes, and I'll link it in the description box, too. I think I paid, like, $34 for it. But, um, yeah, so a changing room. Um, I have my racks for my clothes. I have hangers. I have bags and tissue paper. What I need is 
hang tags, um, yeah, I'll just put the price on them this time and I'll work on barcodes next time, cause like, yeah, what, anyway, um, so yeah, hang tags <laughs> with the logo, um, I got a t-shirt for the day, which I'll probably wear a t-shirt with my logo on it and some cute jeans and some shoes or whatever and just spice it up with my accessories. I'll show you guys what I look like that day. I am going to do a video, I promise, to do a video about it, um, about the Papa Shop and how it went and all that good stuff uh, next week. Um... And if you're not following me on TikTok, you absolutely should because I've been posting more on TikTok, TikTok as well under Caritha's Closet. It's at Caritha's Closet. So follow me there because I'll post um, on TikTok as well, probably same day. So yeah, um, my t-shirt. I don't know what else I need. Mm. Maybe a little decor. I kind of don't know what I want that to look like. I need to figure that out. So we'll do decor. And then I have decor here, like cute flowers here. I'll show you. Let me take it off. Y'all, this is my little rack at home of my clothes. And then you can see like my setup. Don't mind the bed or we're like doing changes at home. This is where, like how I set up my clothing right now, as well as the tent, the totes. Then I have this area where I write my goals and my desk area. I absolutely love my office little area. It's in my foyer. But anyway, um, yeah, so I have some decor that I probably use. Excuse my ring light. Um, the flowers, flowers, this love thing. And then I don't know what else, but we'll figure it out. And I have also a, sorry, let me move my ring light a cash box, as well as a card reader. So I need to put that down, cash box, card reader. Sorry, I'm super close. Um, I don't know about y'all, but I literally um, love to, I need to get a banner. Um, but anyway, I love to watch like other boutique owners um just to see what they bring to pop-up shops but just decide um what they have and what i need and what i think would be best for my business um i have my laptop i need the thank you cards i love thank you cards to go into the bags and then um, I'll add another list of, let's say, to do. I would love to just go ahead and put my clothes on a hanger just because, like, I'll do that probably every day after work. Um, I have some old hang tags. But they have my old logo on it, as you can see, like, Purposely Polished Boutique. But I have them hole punched, and I got these from, like, Office Depot. It's a perfect buy. Um, yeah, so I don't know. Maybe I could just like use the back of them. We'll see. Because I have plenty of these and I don't like to waste my business money, okay? Um, yeah, so maybe I could use the back of these. We'll figure it out. But I have like plenty, so I could use these for my hang tags um and then i have old business cards uh my family was like you shouldn't change the name but like i felt that i really needed to that it that now my boutique has even an even greater purpose so yeah and maybe i could still use these thank you cards um here's my old ones Oh, that has like a coupon code and then my old stuff. So I definitely can't use these anymore, but that's okay. We're gonna work it out. Um, 
more hang tags. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I need to do that. And then I can add, just add the sizes on there. And then my new information, which I could probably get printed somewhere. We'll see. If not, I'll just order some more. Even though I really don't want to, it's okay. Anywho, yeah, so I'm planning my boutique and pop-up shop and new things that are happening. New arrivals are coming in the next two weeks. Actually, the next week, I actually have two plus size dresses coming that are so cute. One is like the red one that we already have that my mom modeled and it's in blue. And then I have a multicolored maxi dress so cute for every day in church so if you are curvy um beautiful woman then definitely you got to check out caritha's closet you probably love what i have to offer for you especially for like conference events um let's say you're going to a speaking event brunch so cute um anyway that's all I have for today. I will continue to try to update you. I'm going to continue to update you. And um, I'll let you know how the pop-up shop goes. So leave any comments below if you have any questions. Um, even if it's about the boutique, I'm happy to answer. Or how I started, if you guys want to hear videos like that. Or how my boutique accelerator experience was with Jance. Um, I think she's amazing. She has a wealth of knowledge. Um, and I'll spend another 3000 on her any day. Because I would rather listen to someone and not make the same mistakes than to make those same mistakes that I could have avoided um, by just hiring help. <laughs> it's okay. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys are doing well. And... Um, I look forward to meeting you, seeing you, talking to you, whatever the case may be. And I will post more. See y'all. Have a great day.